Hey everybody, Drew Zapieri here. Today, I believe it is May 24th. So, we're pretty much fully in summer here in, you know, north central Georgia, whatever you want to call it, where I'm at. Um, we're also around that time where we're getting really close to the end of our flow, uh, as well as kind of around the time that I'm probably gonna be harvesting honey. So, you know, there'll probably be a video here in the next week or so where I'm gonna be doing that. It's very exciting. Um, we're at the original yard, as you can tell. And today, the only thing I'm going out here to do is to check on the left three hives. I was out here a week ago and my blue and yellow hive, they, um, uh, those two, they had um, newer queens that I marked. Uh, they, they were in the process of making queens based upon splits. And so those queens are marked. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna go into the big red one today. I don't think I am. Uh, I think they're fine, but it's really just these three over here that I need to check on because when I was out here two to three weeks ago on those two, we had uh, issues with either swarm cells or super seizures. So I just wanna see kind of where we stand with those. Also apologize for the leaf blower in the background. People are doing some yard work nearby me. So we're gonna go through those real fast, check to see where we stand as far as that goes. Shouldn't be out here too long, I'm hoping. It's, uh, we've had rain nonstop the past few days, but it's super overcast and cloudy. And while that makes it easy to work on the bees, they might not be as happy to see me on a day like this. So I'm gonna try to be in and out once I determine whether we've got new queens there or not. And then yeah, and then might check out a few of the other yards today just to either move supers around or add boxes um, for those that need the space. You know, even though the flow is pretty much done, some of these bees might need either space added or taken away. And you know, once we do harvest those supers, we're gonna be a lot smaller. Uh, these colonies are gonna be a lot smaller and um, we'll have to start thinking about what we wanna do for our plan going into the true summer. So. Without further ado, I'm gonna start working on that, starting with the left, and update you as I go along. All right, everyone, I'm just packing up this last one. I'm not gonna go do the, the tall red one over there on that side, I'm not doing that today. Like I said, the only thing that that tall red one needed to be checked for was uh, marking a queen. I, you know, like I, I do like to mark my queens, not everyone does, but um, something I wanted to get done today, but it is not a priority, so it's not going to get done today. It'll get done next time. Blue and yellow, I think I mentioned last time that I marked the queens, everything was looking fine in there. Um, this one right here, we'll work backwards because I'm, I'm on, right now this is the green hive, right? And so, working our way backwards, um, I just finished marking a very small, I wouldn't call it a virgin queen, I don't think that's what it is. At the same time, I can't, I don't know enough to rule out that it isn't. Um, she, her backside looks developed enough that she doesn't look like, you know, normally when a, a queen hatches a virgin, her, her uh, abdomen is much, much, much smaller, like shrunken. And this was not, this was, this was decent. I wouldn't call it like a huge abdomen, but more well developed than I would have thought. And there isn't any, um, I didn't see any eggs in there today, but uh, you know, there's some old brood from the previous queen. But this, this queen is actually really pretty. She was like a, like a dark brown, um, almost like a coffee colored queen. So I'll write that down in notes. But like I said, I wanted to mark her, uh, assuming she was in there. Didn't see any other weird things of note in this hive, so that was good. Let's see, check this in. Um, you guys probably noticed I'm doing a lot of time-lapse videos as of the past 
few videos and you know comment below if you do like that I know some beekeepers like to constantly talk and sometimes I just like to keep you guys updates and if I have something more showing I'll show you sometimes I I don't get a chance to do that which I feel bad about but um, it's just one of those situations for time just you know it's so time consuming to uh, not only record the videos but edit them after sometimes just doing a quick time lapses give you guys updates summaries is easier to do than showing you all inside the hives so other stuff that i did let's see this red hive still doesn't have a queen didn't see one didn't see any sign of eggs just like that like i said at least we have a queen now in green um the red hive right here it had, you know, the, the last update I was out here, it's probably over two weeks ago, I had seen swarm cells in there capped, um, but nothing clearly had hatched out. And what was more bizarre is, not only did I not see any hatched swarm cells, I still saw a bunch of swarm cells in there, like maybe five. So, you know, they've been queenless for a bit. So I'm just gonna let them keep doing their thing. I mean, they've got plenty of honey and resources that they harvested up top. So that's great. Um, I'm, I'm taking some of the, the cell, I, I took two frames of, you know, uh, eggs and such, which you'll see over here. I'll, I'll mention these two right here. But this easy nut right here came out of the red hive right here. So, like I said, that's about five swarm cells, which is kind of overdoing it. I could make more than one split, but I'm just making one split with it. Throw them in a two-frame nook, which I'll show you later today at a different yard. Um, so we're gonna keep letting them do their thing and try to make a queen because. I left them with two swarm cells in there. So I took the majority, left them with two. And then here, the most bizarre thing of today was my old white queen was still in here and there were signs of a hatched out swarm cell. Like uh, I, I definitely saw the, the pot, you know, top popped on one of the swarm cells in there. So I can't prove there is or isn't a virgin queen in there. But it was crazy that the old white queen still hadn't left. I mean, and she, this one right here, was the original green queen. So right now, the original green queen's now in this little easy nook as well. Also making a two frame split with it. So the difference between the two is this one's already ready to go laying. It's gonna be put in a two frame nook. That one's gonna have, like I said, the um, uh, swarm cells. And we're just gonna just kind of monitor, monitor them both at a different yard. So adding two hives to the equation. As you can see, its population is huge. I mean, this hive was the most packed of the three today, and I didn't expect that, but I didn't expect that because when I was here over two weeks ago, I thought that this queen had swarmed. I didn't see her. Uh, there was no sign of her. I just saw the swarm cells. I was like, well, she's gone. She left. But clearly, she'd been laying this whole time, and as you can see, their numbers are huge. Uh, they still got some work in there, but by and large, that, that whole thing is almost filled up. Uh, it's a shame I don't have more boxes to give them right now. I'm pretty much out. Uh, but. You know, with their, now their population is going to be dwindling a little bit until a new queen in there starts laying. You know, just have to see. So, that's pretty much it for this yard. We're going to move on to the next one, and uh, I'll update you what we're going to be doing there. next yard now so today it's been a little over a week since I've been out here um, not a whole lot I just want to add a box onto this week high behind me probably can see right there it's the only one that didn't get two supers like the other ones did um, the other ones were bumping and honestly their population looking at the front of these I'll try to bring it over for y'all to see is definitely such that they're probably ready so like I said, add one to that. Um, I'm probably gonna add a box to that back right, that far right one, assuming it needs it. But I mean, this is, it's it's lightly raining right now, everyone, and so we've had some really overcast weather. But to see this many bees coming and going, despite the, you know, I mean, we're talking not even a drizzle, but just barely. It's a very overcast day, and it's just it's crazy to see this many bees out and about. So 
they are hard at work and hopefully sometime next week I'll be able to harvest some of that honey so without further ado we'll go in there we'll check them out like I said nothing probably really to report let's put on time lapse like I said last time these all had queens there was one down there that one with the two boxes on had a risk of swarming and the one on the far right was pretty weak so let's see what's changed since then All right, that's it for out here, pretty much. Um, the right one was still pretty weak, the right most hive. So even though they probably didn't need to get a box added on top of them, it's gonna be a bit till I'm out here next. So I just wanna kinda give it to them. And if they're able to draw it out over the next two weeks, great. If not, not the end of the world. Um, again, these, all these colonies are very, very big, very busy, minus the right two. Those are the smallest, but these left four, the ones in white, um, you know, I just put queen excluders on all of them today because I kind of had a feeling that with their population growing that, you know, my queen would probably be laying in the supers and sure enough, that's exactly what she was doing, unfortunately. So, um, it's not the end of the world. You know, it's one of those things, you know, if you're, uh, from what I've read and what I've learned from other people talking about it on YouTube is... You know, it's very hard for bees to draw out wax on plastic foundation, especially if anything's gonna be kind of somewhat slowing down their ability to get up there. And a queen excluder is definitely gonna do that. So, you know, I left the queen excluders out and it definitely did a good job of allowing the bees to draw out the wax in those super boxes up top. But, you know, you run into the whole issue that once the queen's free to roam, she's gonna lay and she did. So I'd say half of my super frames in all those boxes had um, calf brew, not fresh brew, which is good because I, you know, you know, with a the, the, the birthing cycle of a bee from the time that it's capped until the time it hatches, you know, I can't really say exactly how long these eggs have been capped, but there wasn't any fresh um, eggs, which is great. So, you know, if I time it right now that I put the queen excluders in place, and even though I didn't see my queens in the left three, you know, I, I tried to do my best to go through all the super boxes, make sure there was no queens in the top. You know, it's always possible I missed it, but, you know, if that's what happens, that's what happens. But my hope is that I smoked them enough that the queens rush down into the bottom high body where they belong, put the queen excluder in place, you know, as those brood, as the brood hatches that's in those supers up top, hopefully they backfill with nectar. And so that way in two weeks or so, I can start to harvest those frames. So that's the plan right now. I'm gonna wrap things up here and I'm gonna to move to yard number three and then I will show you all yard number four, which is a new one for you all. All right, everyone, here we are over at the third yard. Got my jacket off right now because as I mentioned in that previous video, that rain came in and of course with the rain quickly stopping comes that raise in humidity so it started cooking quick I was bleeding out of my suit it was so hot so right now what we're doing over at this yard is adding boxes on top of it you know this this whole area I'll try to kind of zoom in for you all to see just loaded with clover and from what I've read as I mentioned clover should be one of the last things in my area that's gonna you know produce nectar and you know, I've been actually watching a lot of bees you know feeding off it actually if I can catch one if I'm looking around I see some bumblebees here and there but where I was just walking at a little earlier there were definitely a bunch of honeybees probably these honeybees um, foraging off it so yeah so we are going to add some boxes because there's a good chance they've probably filled those up and uh Probably not gonna put a queen excluder on, as far as I know. I mean, I guess I could have. I think I've got three at the car. But um, either way, we're gonna get into these and see if they can't at least get drawn out over the next several weeks. These hives are not gonna be hives that the emphasis is gonna be on honey production. If we can get some honey out of them, great. But 
from the time that they got installed may have been on the tail end of the flow. So I don't want to take too much honey from them, these three, but you know, you could always, we could always get some honey from them later in the year if they produce some excess over the next several months, dearth regardless, but I probably won't be harvesting them over this next two week period. So without further ado, we'll start working on these and then we'll go to the fourth yard. That's it for this yard. Like I said, pretty quick and easy. Just added boxes. Uh, really the only one here that didn't necessarily need one was the far right. Um, I have to look through my notes. Let's see if I have. It's been a bit since I've looked out here. I'm trying to see if I can remember. Let's see, far right. Hmm. Got no notes in here, folks. I will start doing that today for this yard. Like I said, I've, I've been trying to get better now that I have so many um, hives for me in comparison to the past. I'm having to do a better job of keeping notes for everything. So I'll make sure before I leave here to add notes for all these. But um, while I didn't see, or I'm sorry, I did see my queen on the far right. That's probably the only one I did see. Um, but they just haven't really expanded all that much. I know that one of these was the old queen one was a swarm and one was a new nuke i believe that was the new nuke if i check my notes correctly but my gut's telling me that's what it was and that has the least progress as far as expanding goes whereas those two are like full to the brim so those both came out of my original yard both the swarm being caught and the old queen i believe the old queen's in the middle one but she could be in that one either way giving them all a box because i don't know the next time i'm going to be out here and it'd be good to just get that done for that very reason again there's plenty of clover out here i don't know how much of it's going to stay you know producing nectar but let them hopefully draw out what they can over the next week or so because the, it's pretty much a wrap folks like i said there's I, at least for this part of georgia if previous years have been any indicator that you know by first second week of june it's, it's pretty much over so at that point, we'll start feeding heavy. So the next time I come out here, I might bring out a one of my external feeders. So that way um, they can get to work a little bit more if needed, because they're gonna need some help. But other than that, we're gonna go to the last yard and call it a night. All right, so here we are at the fourth yard. Probably a lot more hives than you're used to seeing. These are not mine, uh, or I sh shouldn't say, all of them, but these two little ones I'm gonna be talking about are not mine. They're just ones I'm taking care of on the side. So, like I said, you won't be seeing this yard as much. Maybe you will in the future, but I kinda wanna show that, so. But today what we're doing, over at the original yard, as you saw earlier in the video, I mentioned making a split. These are little two frame mini nukes that I got from Barnyard Bees. Um, gentleman up in North Georgia I like watching his channel it's very helpful and um, I didn't really have much luck with them last year I tried to do splits with them but I did them too late I uh, tried doing splits walkaways which is not recommended I tried to do them in late August and it, they just absconded the, the bees that were in there they didn't even attempt to raise brood or anything so I'm trying a little earlier now. Now we're, you know, since this is end of May, I could have been using these even earlier, but I didn't have a place to put a bunch of hives. So I wasn't trying to make too many splits. I mean, my own hives were doing that on, on their own with all the swarming that they were doing and me just kind of making splits that way. But this one on the left is gonna be my um, old green queen. So let me set this down real quick. I just saw her, I was worried she had gotten smushed on the ride over because it was a bumpy ride, needless to say. And uh, it looks like she made it. So let's see if I can link her out and show you all that. Yep. There she is. You can kind of see her with the little white dot. So she was born last year. So I'm putting her. She's got some brood. Into this two-framer. 
And you know, I could have just put her in a five framer, but right now I just want them to start slow. And then next time I come out here in a week, I'll give them some other stuff to work on. So let's see if I can get them to get inside. Like I said, maybe next time come out here, I'll put them in a five frame. I just wanted to do a quick transfer of them like this. And start with that. This next one is some swarm cells that I pulled out of, I believe it was that green hive today. These ones are packed. So let's see if I can put them in there without wishing too many. Got one right there. Hopefully that one's not too damaged. Looks like it got maybe a bee dented onto it. So that one's a mystery. We will see. That other one hanging over there, that's got nothing in it. So that's a dud. This is the one I'm most curious about. This one had all sorts of swarm cells. I'm seeing at least two right now. Sorry, three. So. Giving them as good as I can give them. the hardest part about these little nukes. Getting the bees out of them. They don't do a very good job of keeping them where they need to be. But you know, they do make those pro nukes, which are a lot better. Um, those are a lot better. Some of them with sugar water. Hopefully, that makes it a bit easier for them to be accepted, have something to snack on. Right, what's up? So, like I said, we'll come back out here. We probably won't check on this one anytime soon. Uh, like I said, next time we'll put this one in a five frame. Eventually, once they make a queen, we can upgrade them as well. The only other thing I'm going to do out here is I've got some random other side work I need to do. So I'll just put that in on a time lapse. And, uh, and then, yeah, and that should be it. it everybody like I said just wanted to show you what I was doing with those two splits I guess we'll see what happens with them um, like I said I hope you know having more content out at this yard maybe in the future um, 
every now and again it'll it'll take part in the Drew Apiary videos. But um, uh, those other three yards will probably be more the focus. Um, that's pretty much it. Like I said for today, I you know we're so close to harvest for me. Like I said, my goal is the original yard. I'm probably going to try to harvest next week. The second yard, because of that whole issue with the brood in a lot of the supers, you know there's still a lot of honey in those supers. I don't want to. It's a waste of time to to go after that. So I'm going to leave those alone probably for an additional week. Um, and I guess I don't have to harvest next week. I could do it all at once, but we'll see. I need to think on that a little bit. But, you know, it's that time of the year. Um, once we get everything harvested, like I said, I'm looking at, actually, I'm not even gonna speculate because I, I, I can I can see I, at least 15 supers worth of honey. So we should get a lot of honey this year. Um, but I don't want to speculate as to how many pounds that's going to be. I know there's like rough estimates, but you can't predict every super being exactly the same. So um, we'll just get there when we get there. Like I said, I'll try to record that. I'll try to show you um, how that's going to work. I've normally used like a manual extract, like a hand crank, but I'm fortunate that I know someone that's got a electric, like an industrial style one. So maybe I can get that recorded, show you guys how that looks. Uh, it would be my first time using one of those, so it's not like I'm going to be able to teach y'all anything. But, yeah, exciting times. Like I said, once we're done with the harvest of, the, you know, early June here in Georgia, my next steps are going to just be, you know, feeding and uh, treatment. So, most likely, I will do my treatment early this year. I feel like I keep pushing it back further and further and further. Um, and then I'll let you know what new treatment I'm going to try out this summer. So, more to follow on that. But other than that, hope y'all hope y'all have a great week. Hope you have a good Memorial Day weekend. Y'all take care. Stay safe. See you on the next one.